okay you guys let's talk so i was watching a youtube video and um i've been seeing i don't know why youtube keeps on recommending this and when they keep on recommending it i was like okay shall i just say something about it anyway so i was watching a video and um then reading comments online in different you know different websites and stuff and there was i see there's a battle now going on which i don't understand because it really i don't know for me it's really not an argument so the thing was about people talking about um nigerian uh women nigerian wives having housemaid and versus america or abroadians <laughs> or people living in their abroad not having maids and people living in the abroad saying oh we do it why do you guys need more maids than you know one help or whatever <sighs> and let me be honest with you to be honest with you um the way i take this in terms of this whole argument of okay but we're doing it what are you guys complaining about is that really everybody should stay in their own lane <laughs> everybody should stay in their own lane they always say something yoruba proverb or oh, dogba i know i might not pronounce it well but no all ends are equal if you are someone that you can afford a um, help or a maid or whatever you call it then you can afford one everybody has different situation different lives everybody has the way that they run their family some people the way they run their family the way they run their lives um them having jobs even if they are stay at home more maybe having businesses and stuff they might need more help maybe they have a ton of kids they might need more help i grew up where um we had help okay i had a nanny my little brother had a nanny we had a cook we had a gardener we had you know we had people that garden we had all these people that came to help out in the house but of course i still did my own part and most of the time i was even in boarding house after the fact so that didn't really matter but what i'm saying is that i came to the u.s as a student okay i came to u.s at the age of 17 and i got into the american lifestyle i got married and personally when i got married i didn't even think you know i didn't even think about oh i need an help or oh, i need somebody to come and help me and whatever because it is what it is you are acclimated into this society where you are pretty much on your own you are pretty much the helper of yourself you and your household everybody cuts their coat according to their size everybody comes in and chip in a funny story um i had uh, some relatives come and stay with us for a long time and when they came to stay with us usually saturday mornings are the times when we clean the house and my kids knowing the routine they already woke up early in the morning started cleaning so the uh my nephews they came down and said what are you guys doing and i'm like ah they are cleaning, or they are like, why? Where is the maid? Where is? I said, that, since you've come into this house, you, have you seen anybody who has been cooking? They're like, you, auntie. Who has been cleaning? Uh, you, auntie. I said, eh, so there's no maid. So get acclimated with the system. It is a system. However, I have to say something. If you are in the abroad and you are someone that you can afford to have someone come to your house, clean your house, or um have someone that you can bring in from wherever to come and do a living help out nanny and all that stuff if you can afford it do it if you are someone like me that i can afford it i can afford to have maids upon maids but i know my personality i'm one of those people that i like to do things on my own i just if i have somebody even my husband has been telling me shola you are doing you need you know do you want to get a, somebody to come and help you clean the house and stuff and i'm like what am i doing <laughs> you guys you know i do a lot you guys if you are if you know me you don't know half of what i do i do a ton of stuff but the way i run my house is such a way that i do this thing called the five minutes where let's say i'm getting up after work or i work from home so let's, let's say i'm getting up and i want to go to the restroom i'll go to the restroom and on the way back i might pick up a couple of things that are laying around and i try to raise my children in a way where um, they know to clean up after themselves so everybody has we really don't have so much stress or so much need to be having an extra person come and help us out and this has always been the way since my kids were little now 
going to the battle of where people are saying that why is it that people in Nigeria and other countries are, are uh, in Africa are complaining about oh you know and they have so much help and they're still complaining and stuff that is their life leave people to do their own life if you don't know why they have that help they might have health issues or they might have businesses and stuff so we don't need to have this argument we really don't need to have this argument so um, I know it can be tiring and I'm talking from the stance of a person that I um, had ch children I didn't have anybody come in and help me out my mother and father and mother-in-law they came in I think after um, for my second daughter for my first daughter nobody helped me out no is it Omogo Omogo I, I should Oh, sorry. I'm not evil. I don't know. Anyway, nobody came. Me and my husband, we handled it like <laughs> sleepless night, all the pains and everything. We handled it and it bonded us. Would it be good to have someone come and help you? Yes, yes, yes. We shouldn't have this battle. We really shouldn't have this battle where we are fighting each other for, hey, why does this person have two mates? Hey, why does this person have three mates? And they, they don't even do anything. You just go to the spa and stuff. Yes, it would be nice to do that. It would be nice to just come home. Ah, food is made. Do, do, do. You know, I grew up in that lifestyle. It would be nice to have that, but you don't have that. You, If you want to have that and you can afford it, you can go and put a notice in the green sheet in the paper that you need someone to help you out now a word of caution i know i'm not ranting but a word of caution i've had heard so many stories of someone living in their abroad bringing in a relative or bringing in someone to help them out and the person now turns and um stabs them in the back not literally stabs them in the back but turns and tells people that they're being held as hostage and those people end up in prison there was a sad story of a lady that this currently happened to my husband sent me the story and this lady i think she brought somebody in or somebody got introduced to her and this person got her put in prison because they, they were saying that she was mistreating or slavery or modern day slavery so many stories when i came to the u.s there was this story of another family that this was going on so many stories so you i mean you can look at all this circumstantially you can look at it in such a way what i'm just trying to say is that we need to let people live their life do you i do me there should be no argument yes if you are someone that you keep on complaining that ah, eh, you complain to your husband please be careful be careful complain to your husband too much it's good ah, eh, i'm tired eh, i need a maid eh, i need this i need that oh, if i was in nigeria this and that and that then go back i'm sorry to say when you move to the u.s you adjust to the system if you don't if you cannot handle the workload of having a household, raising a household, cleaning a house, doing all that stuff. There are ways around it. Number one, hire someone to come and help you clean your house. Negotiate. If you hire someone to come and clean your house, if I take this house, so I, I can say um, when I had my rental, I hired someone to come and clean and I asked the person, I said, how much will you charge to clean this rental? The rental building was, um, it was one of the rentals, it was three bedroom and two bath. And they were charging close to a thousand five or something to do thorough cleaning which is crazy and i was like thank you i my kids my husband we went and we cleaned it up and we pocketed the one five that would have given them out now if in some areas you can go and you can hire this um uh merry maids or somebody like that and you hire them and say oh i want you to just clean it downstairs um, don't worry about the windows and stuff and they'll give you the pricing accordingly so that's about cleaning number two about food if you're like oh i don't have time to cook uh -huh, it's always cooking i'm always so tired there are ways around it i know several people i'm telling you the truth that they don't even cook they go and there are people that will cook for you I'm actually going to do an example. I normally cook all my foods, but once in a while, I would, like, once a year, I would, my husband would say, oh, it feels like eating this particular food. And I know I might not be the expert in cooking that particular food. I will go and I'll call someone and say, oh, 
can you cook this and i'll pay the person i've done videos where i show myself going to pick up foods and stuff like that and i really do it but i'm gonna i want to patronize somebody's service because i have something coming up soon but you can hire people to cook nigerian food for you depending on where you live it's not everywhere and they will cook nigerian food and you have it in the house you can store some in the freezer and you know portion it out learn how to meal prep when you meal prep you set aside food that you can eat for days and days i have several videos on that so that's with food that's with cleaning now child mending child caring oh the children so much work whatever whatever if you have the money you have daycare you can hire someone to come in and help you with your caring for your children while you do your pedicure or do whatever you want to do there are ways around it but in this america uk China, Italy, Spain, wherever you are located, it is all about the Benjamins. It's all about the money. If you have the money that you can afford to give to somebody to handle the job that you could do yourself, if you can <laughs> manage the time to do it yourself, then it is. So please let us stop all this arguing of who is better and eh, why don't they, eh, people in Nigeria, they don't, you know, this and that. that. Let's stop it. I know there are days that we get tired sisters there are days that we get tired i would just like oh i just wish all girls do it okay another thing i would just advise you is that i'm not trying to say because i know sometimes when i say something about oh teaching kids how to do chore someone always sends some eight comments to me that oh i'm trying to raise people tell people to how to make their kids slave no i'm not saying that but teach your kids how to pick up after themselves and with that being said, I'm gone. I'm done with this. And thank you so much for watching. I want us to converse in the comment area. Let me know if you know about this argument. And let me know what you think. Is what I said wrong? All I'm saying is that I'm saying it from the heart. And this is me. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.